Hello, my name is Nantop. In this video, we'll discuss about the if conditioning in Python. If conditioning is just like a conditioning statement in any other programming language. So let's get started. Just think of it that we have to make a condition that this is a particular part of your code that should be executed and this other part shouldn't be executed or this particular part should be executed for a particular condition is satisfied. The example is that let's say that we have a variable age to be equal to 14. Let me run this. Then we can make create an if condition to print if the age is greater than 18, that this particular person is an adult. And if it's less than 18, it is a the person is a teenager. You know, it's not an adult or is a kid. You understand that? And the syntax for if condition is like this. You create, write a statement if, then you put your condition, which could be true or false. This is your condition will return true or false. And put this double colon, then statement, which must be at least a statement. You might have subsequent statements that is going to execute if this condition is satisfied. Example is this, if h is greater than 18, print you are Now, once I execute the statement, this particular line is going to be tested if it is satisfied the condition, if it's returned to or false. Definitely, it returned false, which means that this particular line will not be executed. You can see it follows the same tax if condition and statement. So it's not going to be executed. Okay. Let's now say that if it is executed, if the condition is perhaps two, I'm going to change this to 19. Then it's going to be executed because this condition is not true at this particular time because the variable has been updated to 19, which is definitely greater than 18. That's why this line is to get printed. So your if condition is just like this. Write your if statement, then condition follows. Then we have subsequent statement that should be executed. This statement must be at least one. You might have it another statement that follows like this. Uh, to be respected. You can see these two lines should be executed, but you must have at least a statement that follows this. Condition. Another important thing is this indent. This indentation must be uh, the goal is that you must have an indent just like this. It means that this indent are uh, within this statement. It's called a block statement. If a condition is a block statement in which you have your if conditioning, then you have subsequent statement that is attached to the if condition. Okay, then we now have another important thing that comes along with if condition, which is the if else. If else statement, the syntax is simply like this. If else statement. What this means is that if this condition is not satisfied, definitely this is going to be executed. Why, once it is satisfied, this is going to be executed. So you have something like this. Else, print. Start. So we have this, then you're still going to print this because this condition is satisfied. 
h was 19 i'm going to, i'm going to change h to be 13 then once i execute this line i have ui kid because it's going to print this else statement within the else statement because this condition is not satisfied h is not greater than 18 then you have this one to be executed you are kid you deserve to be pampered so if you just like an alternate if that's an alternative condition to the if which means that once it is true your condition is true in that if then the else statement will be executed this else statement and this is the sentence else and statement statement which must be at least a statement you might have an if condition without an else statement just like we have here but you can't have the else without the if statement it is wrong your else must uh, proceed must succeed the if statement like we have now then we have the last syntax which is the if if statement so we have a if statement which can be as much as possible if statements then if so what this means is that we have an if statement, then we have some other condition to test for again. If this condition is false, so we have an if condition. If condition. So this is what it means. We have these examples again. Let's say I have more than two conditions to test. The previous one was two condition just to test for this. Once it is two, then do this one, this one, then do this. But let's say we have some other condition like if it is greater than 30, you are an older adult, it serve more high uh, have more respect. Then you can have an elif. This is greater than eighteen. Print. Young adult. Young adult. Have respect. So this means that this. Also, if cannot stand on its own, it must also succeed if statement. It comes after an if statement. And you can have if as much as possible, but you can only have one. Everything just like a block statement, a statement that are connected together. But you must you can only have one if, one else, at least an if statement within the block statement. This else might be there or not is not compulsory but if also is not compulsory that happens once you have to define several conditions just like this we have three conditions once it is greater than that 30 once it is greater than it is greater than 18 and once it is less than 18 that is does not satisfy this condition and does not also satisfy this condition definitely do this so you can have as much and if within a block statement you may have a if as much as possible just like we have here you just have one and if but we are still going to make another example that have as much as possible a if so once i run this it's still going to execute this because h is 13 which means that it tests for this condition which is false it also tests for this condition which is false then it's doing this and what you should notice that once this is greater than 30, let's say you have 40, then you have the first condition being executed, even though this condition is true. Once a particular condition is satisfied, it's going to execute that statement, then jump out of the block statement. You can see that this condition is satisfied, 
age is greater than that, that's it. Even though this is satisfied, this is not going to be executed. Why this is going to be executed? And it's going to jump out of the O block statement. Once you test the first one and you can see that it is true, the other ones does not matter. Just jump out of the O block statement. But if you have tested several conditions and you find no one that is true, then do go for the else statement. That's what it implies. You can see it's going for this because this condition is satisfied. That's what we have here. You can also do this. 19, they have this satisfied. Okay, lastly, let's make another example. In this example, let's say we have score is equal to oh, 60. And I can say that if score is greater than um, 70, We can have this because we have several leaves now. I can see that we have 60 here because it does not satisfy this condition. It's not 60 is not greater than 60. But let's say we have scattered than or equal to, which is this, then our grade should be B because this condition is satisfied and it executes this. You can see that we have two elif. Now you can have elif as much as possible, but you can only have one if and one else in a block statement. Else is optional, so you might not have else. If you don't have any statement to execute when all conditions are false, then you might remove this else statement. So that's how it works. I'm going to test for that condition. Let's say we have 75. Then we are, you see that your grade is A. That's what it's printed. Let's say we now have 44, which means that it has tested this condition, tested this condition, tested this condition, which are all false. Then you see that your grade is C. So that's that about the LIF. It's so simple to use, it's very, very easy. LIF statement is very, very easy to use. And if you have any question, you can just uh, leave it in the comments.